G'day guys, it's Kieran from Solitech here. Someone recently asked me how to display a number of different configurations of the same part uh, on a drawing, or how to document that. Uh, so what I thought I'd do is I'd uh, do something from scratch, show you guys how to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with a part. You can see I've got a sketch here already. I'm just going to go in and change the names of the dimensions here, just so they're a little bit more obvious. This is going to be a pretty simple part, so that's going to be called uh, Dimmer A. I'm going to call this one dim B, and we're going to want to show these these two dimensions on our drawing as well, because we're going to configure these dimensions. I'm just going to extrude it. Uh, let's make it 50 mil thick, like that. Okay. Now, if I just bring up those dimensions, I'm just going to right-click here on this dimension and say configure dimension, and this is going to give us our nice table view in SolidWorks to go ahead and configure these dimensions. I'm just going to double click uh, dimension B there as well and I'm just going to configure these two dimensions, I'm not going to configure any other ones. So I'm just going to create a new configuration, I'm going to call this one small, medium, large. And I'm going to give this table a name so that I can call it back up later. Uh, I'm just going to call it configs. Just hit enter, make sure you either hit enter or press that save icon so that you can call it up later. I can go ahead, so this one here, uh, let's make this fairly small, let's make it 25. Make dimension B a little bit a little bit bigger, let's make it 50. I'll leave my medium at 75 by 75 and my large can be, let's call it 100. That's going to be 150. Say OK. So now I just need to rebuild my part. Take a look at my configuration. So I've got large, medium, small. OK. So now I want to document these on a drawing. So this might already exist in an assembly, but what we're going to do is we're going to create a new assembly for it. I'm just going to start by making an assembly. I'm just going to insert the part straight in. And I'm just going to duplicate it. Just hold control, click and drag on the part. I'm just going to use my smart mates. If I hold down the Alt key, I can just mate these together really quickly. So, that face and that face, that face and that face, that's fine, if I really want, just give these a quick distance, let's make that 25, that face and that face, again, distance, so everything's nicely spaced out. So this one here is going to be my large, that's fine. This one here is going to be my medium. This one here, my small. So now I have my three different configurations. I'm just going to save this assembly. Call it configs. Assembly, or whatever you want. Like I said, this part could be in an existing assembly already. We're literally just creating a new blank assembly purely for creating this this new drawing, which I'm going to create now. So I'm going to create a drawing. Okay. I'm going to drag the front view on. I might just need to scale that up just a fraction. So one to two. That's not too bad. Okay. Now I'm going to insert a bill of materials. And you're probably thinking that pretty stupid because the bill of materials isn't going to show me anything in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to customize the bill of materials to display the configuration names and I also want to display those values uh, for dim A and dim B on here. So 
we're going to need to go back and make some changes to the part so we can get that in. So I'm just going to switch back to my part. And if I right click on my configuration and look at the properties, what I'm going to say is I want to use this description in the bill of materials. So large. Or alternatively what I can do is I can set the uh, the bill of materials part number displayed uh, to be the configuration name. So I'm just going to do that for this one as well. Properties, configuration name. You notice as I'm changing these what's in the square bracket is, is showing what's going to be displayed in the, as the part number. So you notice that now that we've changed these to use the configuration name uh, as the part number, it's not displaying anything else in the brackets. There we are. So if we go back and check our drawing, small, medium, large. Not bad. I don't even really need the item number there. I'm just going to delete that column delete this description column as well. We don't need that. We don't need the quantity. Let's get rid of those. What we are going to need to look at though is how to get that dim A and B onto the drawing. So I'm just going to again go back to the part. I'm going to go up to the file properties and we're going to create a custom property. In fact we're going to create two custom properties. Colon dimension A. And the value is going to be my dim A. I'm going to shrink this window a little bit. And if I just bring up my sketch and show those show those values there, I can actually double click the single click the dimension there. And you'll see it'll have this formula dim A at sketch one at config part dot sldprt, which is my part number or part name. It's going to be 100, and I can even just type in mm after that, so that we're 100% clear on what the units are. Do the same for here. B. Jump across. Grab that. Mm. Just press enter. So now we've got two custom properties, dimension A and dimension B. Just click OK. Just save my part, and now when I switch back to the drawing, I can choose to add a column to the left. I'm going to use a custom property, and it's going to be dimension A. I'm just going to insert another column to the left, dimension B. Let's drag these out, and you can see I've got dimension A and dimension B, like so. And I can choose to maybe just show one of these components. So the way to do that is just literally come in here, hide that component, hide that component. Oh, no, actually I'm going to keep that one. Hide that one there. I can add a dimension here, add a dimension here, just on the text, I'm going to completely override that. It's going to warn me about that. Yes, that's fine. Let's call it dimension A. Yes, thank you. Dimension B. So we, now we have a nice drawing documenting now we have a nice drawing documenting uh, dimension A, dimension B, uh, so the different uh, dimensions in our in our part for different configurations. Hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching.